everyone. Glad you could join me here at Paper and Moose. And as you can see, it is mail day. It has been a little bit since I've done a mail video. So I thought I would enjoy this somewhat nicer weather out on the porch and open up some mail. I only have three packages today, but we shall see what we have. Again, thank you to everyone that has sent mail and those that are waiting for their packages to be opened. It is much appreciated and so nice of you to think of me when you see stuff at Goodwill, at your local auctions, flea markets, or even when you find things out in the trash for free. So thanks again. First package is from Dale in Ovid, Michigan. Oops. Some of these are actually a couple months old, so I apologize. It has been crazy with my schedule, which I'm sure a lot of you know. Is there a letter? It does not look like it. Let me get my scissors out, which I remembered. Oh, this is cute. I've never seen one like this. So this I will save for next Christmas. You have Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. This would be great to hang in a window or going up my stairs. A little bit different than the ones that I've seen before. A lot of times you see the, um, I call them popcorn. I think it's popcorn. The ones that look like, or they look like melted um, fruity pebbles. <laughs> That's not this kind, but this is rather cute. So thank you so much, Dale. Much appreciated. And I will save this for my Christmas decor for the upcoming year. It will be here before you know it. Next is from Sally in Mountain Lake Terrace, Washington, all the way across the states. Hi, Renee. I hope your Thanksgiving was spectacular. It was. <laughs> Mine was wonderful. I've enclosed some items that might interest you, and I promise to send you the article about stamps. I collect all types of postage stamps and send them to the Veteran Stamp Center. Oh, in Tucson, Arizona. They use the stamps as a tool for physical therapy and regaining the use of their fingers and hands from a war injury and getting used to a mechanical hand or finger. Very interesting, and there's a whole bunch about it. It's what um, items needed. United States and foreign stamps, both on and off paper, coins and paper money, sports cards, postcards, old and new, first day covers, foreign covers. How interesting. This is actually perfect because I do have some a little box of stamps that I took a gander at them online and they're not worth anything. I, I assume that junk journalists and crafters would use them, but I think that this will be very nice to send these out to the veterans. So thank you for passing that information along and actually perfect timing because I now have them. So thank you, Sally. She sent a few different things. Hey. Vintage Christmas. What's in here? Oh, cute little card. Chris, greetings at Christmas. With sweet little birds on it. This is not written in, which is nice. Even the ones that are written in, they're still nice, but it's always nice when you find some that are still blank. Washington past and present. This will come in handy too. I am taking my little cousin to Washington DC in a couple of weeks just for the day. It's a day trip. We're gonna walk around, show her some of the sites. So I'm excited. I was there probably maybe nine or eight years ago and I've been wanting to go back. So I think I actually might pass this along to her and she can do some reading and look at pictures before we go. Perfect timing. See, it all works out when you don't open your mail right when you get it. <laughs> the last one we have, let's see, I don't want to rip the paper. From the assortment, we have Life Magazine, Washington Super Bowl with Ted and Joan Kennedy. Look at that dress. All sorts of pictures, pairs from ears. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Always like looking at the ads in older magazines. Interesting. And then a newspaper article. 
Huh. This must... I like to say this is a reprint, but it might not be. Baby Doe Tabor freezes to death while on guard at Matchless Mine? What? Life of Baby Doe was tragedy of riches and rags. What year? 1935. The Queen is dead. Those look like shady there. Who are they? Death received. Two callers at the mine shack home of Elizabeth Baby Doe Tabor. The two visitors, Thomas French, a miner, and Sue Bonnie, pictured here in front, went to the cabin to see Mrs. Tabor and found her dead. Oh, this ended the 36-year-old's vigil, which Mrs. Tabor kept at the mine to obey. A dying command from her husband never to part with his property. Oof. I'll have to read up on that. Oh, interesting. All newspapers are always full of great, great stories. So, thank you so much, Sally. I will definitely send off some stamps to the veterans, and I'm sure my cousin will love to look at that Washington, D.C. book. Last but not least, because it's a film package, is from the Tim in Ocala, Florida. Hello to Florida. We're going to start in here. Oye, oh, yeah, Tim. Oye, oh, yeah, oye. Oh, yeah. um, hopefully I'm not pronouncing your name incorrectly. Oh my gosh, is there a letter? Let's see. Here we go. Found it. Uh, dear Renee, here's some goodies for you. I follow you on YouTube. Your videos are so sweet and nice and just like you. I like anything antiques and vintage. A prosperous 2020. Sorry, I was rushing to the post office. I didn't realize I forgot the card I had for you. That's all right. Paper is paper. So thank you. Oyet. Oyet. We're going to go with that. Again, Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. So we have a whole bunch of goodies. Let's just open this right up. Hausler and Company, engravers and stationery. Very lovely letterhead. Look how pretty that is. Just, I think they still make stationery. Another one, International, oh, International Asbestos Mills and Power Company from 1911 for 300 shares in their stock. The wind's picking up a little bit. We have an assortment of really cute old cards. This lovely Easter postcard. Easter is going to be coming up soon. I'm excited to decorate for Easter. Some other cards. Oh, here's another one. With some little ducks. It was initially addressed to a Mr. Melvin. What a name. We have Christmas cards, more Easter cards, a cute terrier, I believe that is. Puppy. These are really lovely Christmas, I mean Easter cards. Look how cute the colors are in the, the egg on the eggs. Christmas. And look at this. Service Plus from Coast to Coast. United States Steel Company. It's a notebook. Again, I love, love the, the images on there. When you deal with us, you get Service Plus. That would look really cool on a shirt. <laughs> Darn you copyrights. More cards. I'm going to show more of the Easter ones since it's almost Easter time. That moves whole bunch of Christmas cards. This is a great for a swell birthday dad. Swell. Oh. Some Easter vis visitors for you. They're all glammed out in their purple sparkles or purple glitter. Some lovely photographs. Look at those two cuties. That little girl so cute. With Elvin and Blanche with baby Donna. Elvin and Blanche. Look at Blanche's dress. You can see the detail on that. And baby Donna. Her hair. <laughs> oh, this one's cute too. Look at that chair. Look at her dress, that chair. She was styling. This is a great picture. They're workers. King Edward. Oh, they're cutting cigars. That's fun. Or they're making cigars. 
hope there's no glare. That's really fun. You always want to look for clues in the picture. So there's a whole bunch of King, King Edward cigar boxes. That looks like an interesting place. Central Hotel on NYC Road. There's a whole history on the back of that. So neat. Oh, look at these. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go through all of these. Anthracite Motor Company, Miller Hardware Company, Huntington, Pennsylvania, which I wanna say is local, but I might be wrong. War Department, a whole bunch of goodness. $5, I think that that's a great price. Whoever was selling this for five bucks. Another package. Oh, we have some vintage wrapping paper. Oh, look, Raggedy Ann and Andy. I believe that's Holly Hobby. I uh, could be wrong. I want to say Holly Hobby. It might not be. Others. So really, I think there's more Holly Hobby in there. These are cute. Shower for a baby shower, bridal shower. These would be nice for even Easter time. Still think back to when I found all that great vintage wrapping paper at that rummage sale. I should have bought it all. That was silly of me. Animal and Friends picture book. I like the pigeons on the back. Those are really cute. The pigeons are guarding the eggs in their nest. Turkey. That would look great framed for Thanksgiving. More puppies. There's a whole bunch of loose pages from a book it looks like. I'll have to look at that. Whole variety. Those are fun too. Lots of stuff to keep me busy to add to my list. And there's more. Ooh, this is vintage, majestic. Cleveland Indian shirt. That might fit. I do love, I'm wearing one like that now. This is actually the shirt I got at the estate sale. I do love the baseball ringer type shirt. I think that's what they call it. A flannel, which are always good for early mornings at the flea market. And one more package. What is in there? Oh boy. We'll open this first. Double wrap. Look how cute these are. These will look good on my, oh my gosh, look at this one. <laughs> these are like um, porcelain or ceramic puppies. And this is a poodle, little toy poodle. Oh, he is so cute. Look at, here's another poodle. I've never known anyone that had a poodle dog. That's cute. These will look great in my kitchen cupboard. This lovely girl. Nesco. These are cute little bows. And we have some little ones to go with the big ones. A whole poodle assortment. She's rather cute too. If you can see her. A poodle thimble. Whoops, that one fell. Another little poodle baby. Those are really cute. And we have some other ones. I've never seen, the toy one is rather cute. That might be my favorite. And that little gray one, oh jeez. Put that in there so we can get away. We have some more paper, a bunch of things. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. <laughs> John Bull, Dr. Busby's Butcher. I love that. So it is a cow. Yeah, some of you might not like this. Um, there's a steer. And he, again, the anthropomorphic, kind of like the, the moose and the lady in the beginning. So he has man legs and he's carrying a pig. I love him. <laughs> Arrow Street Guide, Rochester, New York. I do love that city. Again, Kodak building. I've said it many times. Oh my gosh, there's a whole, there's more of these. Brief May, Carrie Corn, the gardener's wife. Dark Lantern, Mr. Busby, 
powder and oh there's there you can't see the glare here's bully boy the butcher's son oh, these are awesome i'm gonna have to look these up i wonder if these were type of game or maybe you all know these are so fun i'm gonna have to think oh here's <laughs> here's the butcher's daughter <laughs> look at her she's all looker I'm gonna have to look these up to see if they're a game. Oh, here's Cape Cod, the fishmonger's wife. We'll take her out so there's not a glare. These are so fun. Wherever did you find these? So she has a fish, a fish face, fish face, and she's wearing some fish too. So much fun. Rummy. Oh. There's a the fishmonger's son. <laughs> we have a rummy cards. These are always so cute to find. They have such great colors and images on them. Sassy squirrel. I have to see if there's a moose in there maybe. Yeah, there are many collectors just of cards because of the, the cuteness of them. Oh my gosh, there's even more. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh, I love these. Oh my gosh. There's an Iceman's daughter, the Hunter's daughter, the Gardener's daughter. These are great. I think I'm going to have to take pictures and make a slideshow of them to show you because they all need to be seen. They're just really great images. New York City Max. We'll put that on there so those don't go away. Little Lulu, I remember her. The little fire engine, fire truck. And Dumbo, on land, on sea, and in the air. Dumbo was my favorite ride at Disney World. There's just something about it. Look at him. I've never seen this book before. He's so cute. So much stuff. Well, thank you so much, Oyet O, in Florida. So appreciated. So nice of you to send these things. Love the poodles and those cards. They're so much fun. Please let me know where you found them or if there's a story behind them that you know of. I would love to hear that. So thank you to everyone who has sent mail. Again, so much appreciated. And know that you are keeping the post office that I go to in business. They always love to see me come in there because I'm able to clear off their shelf. <laughs> so thanks again. A few updates on the channel. Um, not much. I'm busy as always with my full-time job. I'm trying to get in videos when I can. I'm trying to list on Etsy what I can. As for scanning pictures to Etsy, I'm still kind of dealing with that, looking at different things. If I get a whole new desktop, I think I'm going to move from a laptop to a desktop. My, la my laptop is still giving me a lot of problems and is rather slow. So if I move to a desktop, I want to make sure that I get the right equipment and the right kind of scanner that will work with that. So I'm not buying something and then it doesn't work. I have that happening now with my current printer and scanner. It doesn't even recognize my laptop. So, But enough about my boring technology problems. Technology. But that's pretty much it. There are some other adventures coming up. What they are, I still don't know. More flea market, more paper, and history behind the paper, which I am still I still have to put out. So that should hopefully come out the end of this week or this weekend. So be on the lookout for that. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this mail video. Thank you again to those who have sent mail. So, so, so appreciated. So I hope you have a great rest of the day, morning, afternoon, whenever you may be watching this. And I will see you all next time. Thank you.